Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is VTech Guy. I am here with my co-host, as always, Chris Mullins. And Mullins, uh, you want to do the introduction for our guest today? Shoot I did from the hip. Okay, so you've you've seen it. Um, we've had a couple guests, uh, just local guys, guys that we know through before they were becoming wrestlers and whatnot. But tonight we have someone very special because it's Mania Week. We decided, hey, let's go out there and let's find someone even bigger and big is definitely something to describe this guy we got to you <laughs> one of impact's newest signings the giant from the philippines falaba thank you guys how's for having tonight? me how's it going tonight good man? man good you know good man we uh, just got out of uh wrestlecon uh wrestled on thursday i uh, Russell Jeff Cobb for Russell Pro. Uh, this year, relaxing in Florida. It's great. Do you love nice. It? How's the weather? <laughs> oh, beautiful, sunny. You know, I'm sunburned. <laughs> it's always sunny. That's I was I was looking at it. Um, it's supposed to be 90 degrees tomorrow during Mania time, and I'm thinking, I've already seen. Uh, we you've you've obviously already probably seen the ramp too, and how it oh, is yeah. even longer than it's, Royal Rumble's ramp. It's the Undertaker it's might die. He might not. <laughs> That's a great way to start the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> the I'm Undertaker gonna, might I, die. We, so we, we, we had to we had to throw it out there. We had to be blunt about that. Just start off things lightly with something like that. But uh, no, how's WrestleCon? How's the you know reception been with that? Um, well, I mean, I I only did one event. I um, mm-hmm. the besides besides Impact, I I wrestled for this place in New Jersey called WrestlePro. Uh, promoters uh, Pat Buck and. Uh, he, we were part of uh, the first day of WrestleCon. It was, it was, a, it was a real uh, great experience. Of course, cool. you, uh, you, know? you took on Jeff Cobb, who is known as Matanza yes. uh, Cueto in Lucha Underground. So, yeah. He's a big guy, man. Very strong. Um, he hit you with that finisher he does, that little like flipping uh, fall away slam. Mm-hmm. Uh, you the pump handle suplex? Yeah. He held me like a child. And threw me. Wow, over that's crazy. Like, yes. like, and, and I'm gonna be honest with you. You're, you're a big dude. Yes. You are like a child. Like, if, he, if, if, if you're telling me he held you like a child, this guy has to be one of the strongest human beings in professional wrestling. I, dude, I, honestly, I walked into this thinking like, all right, I got this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, the there's no way he's gonna hold me over. You know. Not only hold me down and throw me, but throw me above his head, and you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, like uh, like it was easy for him, and it, it's shocking. He's he's a <laughs> big dude, man. Really strong, bro. <laughs> and your style is uh, very reminiscent of Yokozuna. I know you probably get that a lot. Uh, how do you feel That's about that? That's what I saw. Like when when I first saw you, I saw Yokozuna and a mix of Umaga in there. I mean, a lot of the, I'm I'm from uh, the Philippines. My my heritage is from the Philippines, but um, That's getting what I into wrestling. In your tights. You 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 definitely rep that in your tights. Uh, uh, getting into wrestling, you have to kind of study, uh, like you know, uh, wrestlers that kind of um, match your size and match your abilities. And uh, like ever since I started, uh, you know, I've been studying a lot of the Samoans. You know, so a lot of influences came from that family. You know, so well, yeah, I mean, it's it's a very appreciate... it's a very good family to watch. Oh yeah, <laughs> if we look at like a whole the, army, the, they have quite the track. Right. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> so I want to ask you this question. Um, I saw a video that someone reposted from, I believe, either last year or two years ago, uh, where you were taking staples just back to back chest to chest and uh, i believe you bit the guy in the head also uh can you uh yes. tell us a bit about that story have you ever uh okay so been that, to was, match of that caliber that was, that was um it happened two years ago i was wrestling a triple threat hardcore match with dan moff and my tag partner ironically enough uh mario bacara at the time and we were uh wrestling for that um match two or three years ago and uh had a like a crazy hardcore 
triple threat match. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those matches that you, you'd never kind of forget. You know what I mean? I, me looking up to somebody like Dan Moff and even Mario Bacara, my tag partner, it was, uh, it was a great uh, experience to have uh, a main event with those guys. You know? I was going to say, in general, that's something I don't think I'd ever forget if I got, took a staple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something you'll never forget, and you might even have a scar that reminds you every day from that. Ironically enough, from that match, um, I, I still laugh at it to this day. Uh, like, I, we're, we're beat up and sore and everything, and, like, you know, you don't feel it 100%, like, right away after the match. Um because you still have a lot of adrenaline pumping through your veins, but um, the the next day you f- you feel all the pain. But I remember waking up from my bed like that morning, and like something was itching my back. So I went to scratch my back, and I pulled out a staple from the night before. <laughs> <laughs> it was still there. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, it, it was insanity. I was like, oh my mm-hmm. god. And I showered. It wasn't like, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like, I, I was just Man, like, Man, it must right, have been in there deep. Them. Like, I, I, like, you know, I took a shower and everything, and I thought I, 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 like, all the things that, like, like, punctured me that night, I thought I, <laughs> I pulled out, and I thought everything was, was, was cleaned up and, you know, bandaged up, but apparently that staple was still there. I'll, I'll never forget that. Every time I, every time I see stuff about that match or every time I, uh, Think about that match. I always think about the next morning when I, when I had to pull out a, a staple on my back. Do you like those hardcore Crazy. type of matches? I don't. I don't like doing it all the time. Mm-hmm. But like, see, with, with that, like, <laughs> I don't think many people do. No, I mean, like, I mean, no. I, you'll be surprised. You'll see a lot of people like really. I, I see it and it's it's cool, but it's not my cup of tea. But mm-hmm. like that had a story behind it. Like we were us three were going through a program for a couple of months. Well, so, yeah, that, like, that, that's the if, only way you can really pull off a match of that caliber. Yeah, if it makes sense, in my opinion. Like you just, it's like, not one of those know. things that you're just like, okay, you know what? Tonight we're gonna do this. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna go out of nowhere and have like you know your it has first to match mean or something. something. If you're gonna do something that yeah. caliber. I mean, like, every, like you know, it's everybody has their own opinion. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I, I don't, uh, you know, I don't judge people for liking, you know, like. No, but like I would, like I I like it too here and there. But I would much rather, um, like see a match, like that kind of match. With the story be a part behind of it. it. Oh. Me, yeah, it makes me more. No, mm-hmm. like I mean, if I if I was either a part of it or or watching it, I would much rather have it have a, a storyline because that way. Then I have nothing invested. behind it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more more invested uh, interest in 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 the story. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's yeah, why. Yeah, it uh... it's why you hate somebody instead of just that story you know telling 101 that's a that, that's a big thing with me in, re- in professional wrestling is i i get into it because of the story yes it definitely. it definitely takes you back I, I, to the uh edge and foley when you know they yes. had their their match at wrestlemania they had a big feud that built up to that all that stuff yeah yeah it's like a couple of months and everything too man so you know when when everything when it was time to go and it was time to to you know, go crazy, it, it meant so much more. You know what I mean? And and they build it up to, to you know, their big stage, which, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That, that's what, it, that's the art of it, you know? Yeah. So, let's kind of shift this a little bit, keep on the same subject of, uh, you know, re- your wrestling preferences. And you're a bigger guy of stature, I'll say that. I'm not going to, you know, I don't, I don't know any other way to say that, but... What do you feel big, about? Do you feel uh, no, no? <laughs> you like, no, no. But, and I'm, I'm, I'm a very, I'm a very small guy. There's a lot of. Yeah, I, I'm a, big, I'm a bigger dude. I'm not as big as you, but I'm a bigger dude. But he's a, but Tech's a really small guy. I'm like, like Lorado kid, you know. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. So to kind of transition to that much more smoothly. Thank you, Chris. I don't. I guess that helped out. But uh, do you like wrestling? You know, guys who are you know more of your stature or you know guys who are you know like my stature they kind of flip and fly all around the ring uh like what's your preference you know honestly like like at first like you um when i first started i would 
much rather um, wrestle because it, it was more simple. But I'd rather wrestle somebody my size because mm-hmm. it was easier to tell a story. Um, at a point right now, like my like I've been wrestling for twelve years. I I just I don't even see like size. I just want to like wrestle as many different like kinds of wrestlers as possible. I want to see what my style how my style mixes with like a, a, a cruiserweight or you know like a heavyweight like or I the just, hardcore guys I, yeah. I my, my yeah my interest is like not about like styles it's more of how it blends with mine That's you know what I mean so I would yeah I would just much rather just I have no preference because mm-hmm. uh, like the rush of wrestling comes from like trying to see if my my style of wrestling blends with theirs I definitely like the way uh, you put it together because I know we're kind of on the other side of the spectrum as, you know, fans. And, you know, I love, yeah. me and Mullins mostly are story guys, you know. We still like our solid okay. wrestling, but we love the story behind things. Um, and as you, yeah. as a wrestler, you know, I really I really like that uh, opinion of yours and your, you know, side on it as how you can mix with, you know, all these different styles, you know, whether it be someone who's, you know, just a clear brawler or someone who's going to be cruiserweight, you know, flying around, yeah. someone who's going to be trying to come at you with staplers, you know, stuff like that. So definitely like So that. let's that, um, yeah, actually, that, yeah. oh, I'm sorry about that. Go ahead. No, no, go, go ahead. I, I, I was going to say, actually, um, <laughs> you, you, you had previously talked about your tag team, Mar- tag team partner, Mario Bacara. Yes. Um, so you guys actually hold the Monster Factory Tag Team Championships. At least you'd had at the time of the. Do you, do you guys still hold those? You you did still, at least we're, like we're still the, tag as, team as, as I was gonna say. Okay, because I know that you still had them when you appeared on Impact. I know, we obviously know that Impact does tapings and whatnot. Uh huh. No, so, well, I'm still me and Bobby Bakar are still. Uh, so um, tag team champions for the monster. So yeah, that's another. That, that's another. So you're basically just up in that New Jersey area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for the most part, uh, we started. I mean, like, yeah, for the most part, we started out in New Jersey, and um, like, like every now and then we'll get, like, or at least for me, um, I will wrestle as as far as they'll take me. You know, um, mm-hmm. a couple of years ago, me and Mario Bacara. Uh, we weren't wrestling together, but we were flying down to, to um, Texas for Reality of Wrestling, and uh, we did shows for for them. So we we. Oh, traveled so that's and, Booker T's thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, it, it was a great experience too. But like, yeah, me and Mario have traveled. Like, we might not have tagged together like all the time, but like we've had this history and like in the sense that we've we've uh, thrown. Uh, punches together and we've traveled well that's always hard. good i I, th- I feel like yeah. it's it's one of those things that i always think you always think about it like i mean you when when you go up against somebody you gain that special respect for them and you def you just want to be tag tag team with them yeah most definitely hello 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 yeah we got you yeah yeah we got you um, yeah, no, and you know what, like, I, I feel like because we've had, like, we've known each other for so long that, um, like, we, uh, like, we we can, we blend together, like, easier, because, like, you know what I mean, a lot of tag teams that are just put together, like, it takes a, a while for them to mesh because they have to, you know, like, they, they either just met or, you know, haven't, like, you know what I mean, haven't wrestled with each other, yeah. like, we've yeah. actually wrestled against each other a bunch of times. And, and even so much teamed up, but like, you know, within the past, like maybe a year, we started teaming and, you know, um, I, I want to say like a couple of months ago, maybe like five or six months ago, we won the Monster Factory Tag Champions. Man, you've been you holding know? these for a while. That's a nice reign. Yeah, we, we, you know, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty good, man. Uh, that, that, you know, Monster Factory is another great place. Danny Cage uh, runs it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like. That just adds to the history of me and Mario Bacara, you know? Yeah, definitely. You could definitely see, like, just on that in that one match in Impact, you could definitely see you guys had a lot of good chemistry. Yeah. And it's cool because we're not, like, I feel like um, 
we we're not we're different, but like oh, you guys are like very different things. styles. Yes, you know? but that helps. That helps out a lot. Yeah, it, it helps. Look, look at all the great. There's all kinds of tag teams I could point out in the history of great tag teams that had different styles. Mm-hmm. It's what makes a tag team whole. Yeah, Mullins Iron, uh, Jericho. Yeah, Jericho. Yeah, sometimes he's, he's the big show to Mike Jericho. Contrast. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that came to mind. Monster. Yeah, I don't know why no, that no, came okay, to mind. Though. But... <laughs> I mean, they're, oh, they're they're very entertaining, both of them. You know. Oh yeah, for uh, sure. Very sad to see them break up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that happens uh, with a lot of big show tag teams. I mean, um, it's it, sometimes it's for for a reason, you know. Sometimes yeah. it's for a, a story, you know. It's yeah, like absolutely. like I said, that that's gonna mean so much more when they go against each other. You know what I mean? This weekend. Mm-hmm. Was it, was that ever one of your influences? Did you ever watch any of uh, Paul White? the big show whenever um he is a uh, I mean yeah alumni. no most like I, I watch I, I watch starting out I, I watch as much big men wrestlers as possible he's 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 really great I, I was really when I was a kid I was I was like, really some of the stuff like I, it's just funny because going back on the network watching some of his stuff for his size some of the stuff yeah. that he was doing in WCW I really wonder who was their um yeah. who was the the road agents on that telling him he could do that stuff. (laughs) He was up there trying top rope moves and stuff. And I'm like, what are you doing? It's impressive. And it's, it's It's impressive, but it's like, whoa, like they just really just do whatever you want. Yeah. I mean, I like that too, though. Like, I don't like, you know, there has to be a reason for it, you know? Um, but I don't, I don't mind. Like you come off the top rope. Uh, we'll have to see. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> depends, yeah. Depends on... Uh, Here and there. Yeah. It depends on the situation. <laughs> it's not my first go-to. Yeah. It's not something that I'm, I'm looking to try every... You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I do all well grounded. All, all, you know I mean? all you need is that second rope for the bonsai. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for the most part. So, how, how excited are you to be... Um, you're part of that new list of guys for impact wrestling of their new you know view on things Era. yeah it's it's very interesting you know when you see you have a guy like you staring across a guy like lorano kid and you guys so very different but you're both a part of the same boat um you know i guess you want to take us back to you know when you first showed everybody what you were up to and i i really loved how you know, we saw like the comedy side of you, so it's like you know, like the lovable giant type of deal. Yeah, you know that was that was great. <laughs> well, no, but I, I like that match because um, it, it goes back to what I, I was saying, where um, you want to, like, I, I want to wrestle different styles. Mm-hmm. So, like in that match itself, like, like you know, it's an international match where everybody from around the world is in one one match. And it was it was great to see the contrast in, in styles between, you know, my team and theirs. You know, uh, Mario Bakari, yeah. you know, Idris, Ape, Idris you Abraham, know, you know. It was a nice yeah, throwback was, to the uh, old NWA TNA. Yeah. Where they used to do that. Where they used to. Where they really like benefited, and they were like one of the first companies that really like hit hit on it with, uh, hey, we're gonna bring in a bunch of international talent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, it's great because it gives an opportunity to to wrestlers that showcase that other people have like the situation. That, like yes. your your following in the U.S. was maybe not as big as it is right now. Yeah, I mean it, it's getting there, you know. I don't wanna, yeah, you know, well, the exposure it's, helps it's, out a lot. With it it helps a lot. Yeah, exposure helps out a lot. <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, man. It's just it, it's. It's only the beginning, and it's great to see like fresh faces in, in the locker room, and you know, like even like the veterans too. It's just it's it's awesome to to see. It's what, a nice, it's a good blend. I see um, they got going on with this new era in TNA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of newer. There's guys, just a, well, a we should say Impact Wrestling. Back. Yeah, Impact Wrestling. Mm-hmm. It's you know, it's, it's interesting to see what direction they're they're at it in. You know, so. I believe you, you are called the Panda Man from the Panda Land, right? 
<laughs> well, that's more of my my indie in the indie stuff, like yeah. independent stuff. Like in in New, in New Jersey, uh, I have a real love for uh, pandas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I like that. That's who a, does that's love a good pandas? Mar though. That's a marketable thing. Yeah, I, that's yeah, a marketable so, thing. Like, I, I, I like to associate. I have it in my gear. <laughs> I have a panda like in in the middle of my logo. It's uh you know. I have a real love for it, and you know, like a lot of like the independent uh, fans, uh, you know, especially that goes to WrestlePro in New Jersey, um, they showed me a lot of love, you know, with the panda stuff. They give you lots it's, of it's hugs, cool. like Bailey. Just yeah, run up to you, giving you yeah. hugs. <laughs> yeah, because oh, like, New Jersey has a really rich uh, history of uh, independent wrestling. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a, well. It's so close to New York, and that's you oh, know what say, I mean. Well, that's, in uh, general, like I mean, I've you obviously have like Wrestle Pro, you have Monster Factory. Uh, uh -huh. Does uh, I know Hawkins is in the WWE right now? Does Meyer yes. still run? Uh, uh, what's yes, it called? He, a Creative he, Pro? He's, yeah, he's I believe still, so. Yeah, he still runs. Him yeah. and Pat Buck, they're still like running uh, Creative Pro. You know, it's you yeah, know, and it's deal. it's a great school. A lot of like new, you know. Students are coming up, and you know, you're gonna see a big future with uh, a lot of uh, creator pro wrestlers coming up from, so, from the school. This question um, is from me to you, but it's it's mostly from Mullins. Do you know a guy named Grim from Grim's Toy Show? Yes, Grim. That's Mullins another probably, Jersey guy. Mullins is probably really excited now. Pumped. I love Grim. He's a, he's a great guy. I haven't watched too much of him, but the like stuff I've seen is pretty good. So, his his YouTube show is very entertaining. Mm -hmm. You know, it's cool. You know, I've I've seen it. Can we you see know? you on there one day? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hey, I was gonna <laughs> say he, 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 that's that, that 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 was one of the things. Is I was thinking when I saw that you were from New Jersey, I was like, because he gets some of these bigger names, and I don't know how he does it, yeah. but he gets these guys to come wrestle in his backyard. Robbie E was there. Um, that was yeah, Robbie, the one episode yeah. I watched in particular. I mean, like, let, I wouldn't. He, do, he, does, he did a lot of stuff with Myers before Myers went to WWE. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I guess you know, like I, I don't know what the future holds for me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, you know, definitely. I might be. So, mm -hmm. I'm to I'm totally, you know, not opposed to it. He, he's a cool guy. I, I Are you going him. to Mania tomorrow? No, I'm not. No, you're not going to I'm actually Mania. flying back tomorrow. I'm actually flying tomorrow <laughs> back oh, to, to Jersey. Yeah. Have you well, hopefully, the, the, hopefully you bring that nice weather with you back to New Jersey. I'm, oh, bringing, yeah. back a really, I'm bringing back a really bad sunburn. That's what I'm bringing back. It happens every time I go to Florida, naturally. too. I can understand that one. Well, I have dark skin naturally, and I'm thinking I'm good, but then I'm not. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't put, like... Suntan lotion, and I'm really like mm -hmm. aching right now. <laughs> so to bring it back to that's um, what you can shoot real quick, Mullins, and then kind of segue. I was gonna us. say that's what uh, I always wonder about those guys, like especially like wrestling outside at WrestleMania. I wonder how much suntan lotion they got to put put on to be out there, especially those earlier I mean, matches. I just started, so I don't even know. I'm still learning myself, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, to segue though. Now, did you grow up in the in the Philippines? My family, my family came from the Philippines. I was born in New Jersey. All right. But like I, you know, I when I was younger, I like I would always go back to uh, like the Philippines uh, for summer vacation. Mm -hmm. So like when I was younger, I went a lot. Have you the wrestled there? No, I haven't. Oh, is haven't that a, is that a big goal That's for you? Kind of in that... my bucket list. I would love. I, I would was love gonna to say see... that. That has to be a bucket list moment. Yeah, it, you know, it's something that, like, I would like to see. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know of too many uh, promotions in the Philippines, but, you know, given the right exposure, they could definitely become a hotbed, kind of like with yeah, uh, like the UK is right now. It's, yeah, man, you know, you never know. I mean, especially now, like, when I, when, I, when I used to go there, like, wrestling would be a couple months behind because mm -hmm. it was just TV. There was no, like, internet. But, like, now, like, the internet helped, like, everybody around the world, like, you know, see wrestling. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and, and not even just, like, like professional, like, you know what I mean? Like, independence as well, you know? So, it it's helped out a lot with the company or the business, you know what I mean? So, like, I hope, 
you know, I hope to see like a, a nice, you know, like I, I, I would like to see wrestling come up in, in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, it would be cool. Oh, most see. definitely. I just like to see it. I, I, I like to see it expand globally because I, like I said, I'm a, I've, I've been a lifelong fan and I think it sh- it's something that literally should be global. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your, uh, what's your favorite country to work out, uh, work out, wrestle, uh, outside of U.S.? I've only wrestled in, in America, United States. Really? Is there any place in particular that, besides, you know, Philippines, as we've just talked about, that you're, like, you're kind of gunning for? I mean, like, like, bucket list stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I think everybody's top three is either England, Mexico, and Japan. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. No, Easily, yeah, or, that. I think yeah. easily, like, like every every like wrestler like would love to, that hasn't wrestled outside of the country would love mm-hmm. to, to try to to, um, you know, go there. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's like, you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure like people from like England, Japan, or Mexico would be this almost the same way, like except put America in one of the the three. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just that's where wrestling is best at. I I feel, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not knocking any other, you know what I mean? Like yeah, but, that's what like it's it's why like it's like it's the the be all end all is obviously WWE WrestleMania or the, Impact. Re- WrestleMania yeah. is the be all end all. Oh. You work your way. That that's why people get into the business is to get to a fit, a place like WrestleMania. But TNA. Well, I mean, I, I, I like where I'm going. I like where I'm at, you know, like, no, like, I like where I'm at, you know, um, yeah, like most definitely, just, like, you're, goes, you're, you know? you're, you're, the thing is, is you're in a very exciting part because you're in a new era of a company, which is something not many people get yes. to like really say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm very exciting. excited to see where it's up to, you know, like it's oh, something I've, I've new. Been re- I've been very excited the last few yeah. weeks, honestly, watching the impact product that they've been giving us weekly. And I've been a Impact fan yes. for a long time now, and uh, I remember actually, you know, shifting Mullins into it because he wasn't the, yeah, like the I, biggest I, fan I, at first. Yeah, like I, I, I had went away because just some of the stuff was rubbing me wrong, and it was just like, uh, like it, it, it got bad when like some of the stuff like I just felt like they didn't capitalize as much as they could on stories because stories are the big part to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, but then like just over the last year in general, like I saw things were getting really good and it thinks things stalled off a bit but now i see them picking back up and i see i i am very excited for the next few weeks i see all kinds of new crazy stuff going on very excited to see where the whole josh matthews things the josh matthews thing goes i want to see where Fala Fala goes <laughs> yeah most yeah. definitely well, your future exactly. holds my friend because as you were saying with uh, before we talked how you actually watched our impact review during that view we talked a bit about how you know you're going to be mostly key utilized probably in the tag division with mario uh bakura yeah. right well I, yeah i honestly like yeah i mean i would like to i mean like i know me and me and mario are defending um like we we, we defended our belts i mean not defended our belts because the lax just won those new he, shiny titles you might need yeah, to add some I, I gold to the repertoire just, <laughs> i not saying anything i don't know you know what i mean yeah exactly coming for you lax (laughs) (laughs) no no, it's all good but um it's all good yeah but like idris abraham how we were talking about how he's a guy that you know we could see definitely be utilized in the x division you know of course we're still something he's something totally different you know what i mean Mm -hmm. yeah that's what like his his character in general like his look was like that's the one thing i liked about the three of you guys, uh, Abraham, you, yourself, and then Mario Bacara, yes. you all had a very different look. Mm-hmm. You, you, you weren't you weren't part of this cookie cutter mold or anything. Mm-hmm. I've, I've, Which, but it's it's, 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 it's a very like. special thing to do. It, it's great to see contrast. I, I feel you know what I mean. Most like, definitely, because you know I mean? that that that's why people watch. People watch for yeah. the difference in everything. Most if definitely. everyone was the same person, then why would you watch? You wouldn't. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so with uh, Impact Wrestling, without, you know, getting on, you know, 
too much of a line. Uh, like, what's the thing you're kind of you know really excited for? You know, being a part of the the roster. Uh, honestly, just the direction where it's going to. It's like, it's going really you know? good. Um, you know, I love their new website design because as a tech guy, you know, I look at that and see. You know, the I like the new previous... logo. To be honest, the, oh, the new logo is very by um, far very um, great. good on the eyes. It's, <laughs> well, no, the the newest one where it's it's kind of like digitalized. I would say, um, kind of is that yeah. spin off. It's got like a lime green before. and a, like electric blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's awesome. <laughs> I'm excited to see some follow ball merchandise soon. Yeah. yeah do you oh, do you have a uh, any stuff on a uh, pro wrestling tees? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. I um, I'm just starting to. I, I just sold. I mean, I just got my own stuff, but like, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, in the months to come, I'm gonna get on and make something. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't really want to say too much, uh, on the air, but you know, we definitely have some, some buddies who are good at that graphic design stuff, uh, and they would love to help okay. you out if you don't, you know, have anybody. You yeah, know, if you if you don't have anybody to. in mind, we, most definitely but, I can I can we can definitely help you out in that area. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So um, probably message me and send me their way, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh <laughs> that's something exciting to look forward to. Follow our merchandise. Uh, I'm a big beanie guy currently. Um, that's why I would love if okay. whisper in their ear, Shh, get some TNA beanies. Um, you know, nice little impact beanies. I buy <laughs> I buy a couple. Um, I'm all about the um fitted hats yeah uh, oh i love the i want to get one of the new hats too they look really cool so but uh transition again back to some more of your indie stuff um what you got planned for us Excuse me? Uh, Wait, what, what happened what's some of your uh your big indie matches coming up that you want to hype up uh well at wrestle pro at uh april 29th in mm -hmm. uh starland ballroom i'm going to be wrestling michael elgin i'm really Ooh. excited that. that's a big name it's gonna be, it's gonna be something uh it's gonna be something good man it's gonna be like two agile big guys going at it and i'm very excited for it so if anybody that's one that's thing i've really noticed that they, they really put you against those agile big guys and i really like yes. that because i feel like that's where you can showcase yes mm -hmm. most definitely Show, like, showcase like, strength they, they, and like you know I, mean, mean? I saw clips of your stuff when you you obviously fought um Ryan Reeves, uh, the form yes, formerly I'm Ryback. Another big, strong guy. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, the big and guy. Got, and then, as we, as we yeah. alluded to earlier, you, ha you and Jeff Cobb yes. opened up the show the other night. Mm -hmm. We're Most another definitely. good guy. I feel like that's a, good, that's a great place to, for you to be because it's against these guys that, showcase, that can showcase your abilities. And I'm in actually, the end, that looks good on you. Yes, I'm very excited for like this year so far, and I want to see where it's headed to. And not only just Impact, but also in, like even in Independence, you know, just yeah, just like a lot of uh, it's very promising. I mean, you know, not to brag, but it just it feels really. I'm really excited for it. And you, um, uh, you've wrestled for twelve years, right? Wanting to throw down Elgin, huh? Um, you said twelve years. Sorry to catch wrestling? you off. It was a bit of a delay. Uh, um, yeah, I've been wrestling for 12 years. Uh, so, like, l lately now it's starting to, to, to pick up and, you know, a lot of good stuff is happening. So, mm -hmm. I'm, you know, 12 years, man. It's, really it's been exciting. a long time. <laughs> and a lot of uh, different gimmicks, honestly. Like, <laughs> I was a savage when I first started and, you know, I was wearing a singlet. And mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years ago, Pat Buck gave me the idea of, uh, you know, trying the whole uh, – you know, Yokozuna, you know what I mean, style. With the, the it's definitely Milwaukee. a really, really good idea. I will say that. Yeah, so um, uh, that's one thing I wanted to actually get on, too. Uh, the whole wrestling barefoot thing, we've seen it through the years, obviously, with the Yokozuna. Yes. We've seen it with uh, Umaga, uh, Rusev recently. Um, mm -hmm. How do you how, how do you like it? Is it, in it? And how different is it compared to wearing wrestling boots? It's easier to bring a bag without boots. It's no, yeah. it's 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 more. I mean, it has its pros and cons. You know what I, was I mean? Say, do you ever? Because like the big thing is because actually Rusev started wearing boots uh, when he. I I think he broke his ankle. Yes. 
He broke yeah. his ankle uh, because he was barefoot. He broke his it, that that was the reason his ankle broke is it landed in a way because he was barefoot. It broke his ankle. Do you ever worry about that? I um I feel like if I worry about it too much, it might actually happen. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I, I was I'm just, say, just, I, just go could just go I've been wrestling for so long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, be careful, of course. But like, I've been wrestling for twelve years and. Like most I mean, the whole time I've been barefoot, so like I'm I'm just used to to feeling the mat on the bottom of my feet. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, um, but like it has its pros and cons. Like if I'm wrestling, I have a pair of boots just in case I have to wrestle on an outside show in the summer, because like the the sun will heat we'll up burn the mat. mat. So, yeah. You, you yes. don't want to walk on coals the whole match. No, I do, and there, there's <laughs> nothing you can do about it. And I'm like 425 pounds, so 425 pounds on a hot skillet. You know what I mean? Like, there's Ouch. no like, there's no way of not feeling that heat. You know? If it's a summer day, and you know what I mean? It's And imagine how long that ring's been up. So how long has the sun been beating on Ooh, that? Oh, yeah. You know? mm-hmm. I don't feel like a so it has its it totally has its pros and cons that 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 hardcore match that you saw um, from a couple years ago they had thumbtacks um, placed on the ring and probably had a bunch of those in your feet at the end no I walked through that you know pile of thumbtacks and it was the worst experience <laughs> from that <laughs> night. So, I mean, that's probably why I had that staple on my back because I wasn't paying attention to my back. I was paying <laughs> You were more worried about your feet. <laughs> yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I was worried about, you know. But, you know, it has its pros and cons. But I, I, I like it. You know, I'm used to it. It's mm-hmm. it's something that I feel like that's that's me. You know, that's my signature. Not, not, not just mine, but, like, my style. That's the signature of, you know, the style of wrestling that I've, you know, developed, you know. Yeah, most how you, definitely. How do you feel about the uh, the six sided ring in Impact Wrestling compared to the traditional um, four sided? That was, that was like, my first time. Your first that was time, honestly, my first time wrestling in a six sided ring. So it was uh, it was a small adjustment, but nothing mm-hmm. nothing too crazy. Yeah, I always you know love to I mean? see like, the. Uh, how's the spring on the on ro- is the spring on the ropes that much different? Yes, no, I I, I will say it's it's you know, I'm I'm not doing like. You know, I'm not doing stuff where I'm like doing springboard, so I'm. Yeah. It's it doesn't necessarily do anything for me for it to have a great spring. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. like, like I know it's gonna hold me up when I do the bonsai. You know what I mean? It's yeah. it's it's very it's tight, so it's it's. I'm good excited it's to see that bonsai. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so That's, I was a big fan of Yokozuna. I was a big fan. And I was a big fan of... You know what? You want to hear something ironic about that? Yeah, what's about that? When I was a fan as a child, you know, um, I respected him. I always respected, like, wrestlers. You know what I mean? So, like... Oh, yeah, most as a, as a fan, as a fan, as a child, I hated Yoko. Really? <laughs> well, then he was doing his job right. He was a heel. Yeah, he was doing his job yeah, right. exactly. That's what I was gonna go at. It wasn't like, like I wasn't a smart mark when I was a child. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. in like '94, there was no real like smart marks. There was no uh, smart marks in '94. No, there's no internet. So like, this, if there were a smart mark, it wasn't a lot. You, you didn't know. know I mean? You didn't know where they were. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was real. I thought Doink was a, a clown. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. So. Oh yeah, trust what? me. Uh, I was Undertaker kid. used to be one of the scariest people. Yeah. So when I was a kid, I did not like him because he was doing such a great job as as being a heel. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He took yeah. Brett's belt. You know what I mean? So yeah. That you know. There's definitely Mr. That, Fuji with the salt. So yeah, and but ironically enough, when I got into wrestling, that was the guy that I always studied. You know what I mean? You always want to study tapes. You always want to, you know what I mean? See. Yeah, and, most definitely. Like, you know, you always study tape. Would you ever have a Mr. Fuji? So that that was the top. What do you mean? Just, Would you ever have a manager? Yeah, a manager. Do you already work? I, I mean, independence, independence wise, I've had a bunch of managers, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, uh, when I was in, like, a WrestlePro, 
uh, I I used to be managed by a guy named Shining Edward Jackson. Mm-hmm. Uh, until he turned on me and threw uh, salt in my Ooh. eyes, which oh. is ironic. That is That's very ironic, ironic yeah. That's very ironic. They kind of hit me instead, you know what I mean? So, yeah. that, you know, uh, when I was in reality of wrestling, there was a, a, a wrestler now named by the name of Hai Young, and she was my manager. It wasn't, it didn't, that girl did not look like uh, Fuji, but like she, yeah. she played the, <laughs> she was there for me. Mm-hmm. She didn't you know? wear the, she didn't wear the little um, bowling hat. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> she wore a <laughs> Yeah. But, um, yeah, um, hold on. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Sorry about that. I, I got. Oh, you're all good, man. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, you said I, I, we 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 were talking before everything, and you said uh, you pay more attention to the WWE product, but obviously tonight we have uh, NXT Takeover. Okay. Who are some of your uh, uh, favorites in the NXT product of things? Uh, I mean, like, uh, like, as a fan of wrestling, like, as a, uh, yeah, as a fan, like, yeah. we'll talk because obviously, um, just from talking to you for this long, I've gauged you're, you were definitely like, you're, you're not someone who got into wrestling because you just want to pick up chicks or a hey, it's a fun job to have you make uh, you make good money whatnot. You got in because you love it. I was a fan, yeah, I loved wrestling, I, any kind yeah, of wrestling. So, um, what, what, uh, who, who are some of the guys you like in the NXT product? Nakamura, hands on. I think he's like. Oh yeah. I, mean, it's, mm-hmm. I was I was a big fan of like all the stuff from before. He's just. He's um, so charismatic. He's just cool, man. Did you know you what I mean? Like, and that's. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I couldn't. Let's know, be honest. <laughs> With stuff like that, you can't say you can yeah. until you do. I, mean, I, I saw what it did to Austin Aries' yeah. face. It would take me out because I'm smaller than Austin Aries. But I saw it. Too. Least, I saw what know. it did to his face, and he just is now is coming back. Yeah. No, but like I mean, just just him in general. Like it's, um, there's there's characters and there's personas. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like there's that's that's a crazy mix with that guy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A little bit of like Michael Jackson, a little bit of like somebody really like tough, like badass, and that's and, like with because a little like, bit when of when I first like, saw because I had only seen brief brief clips and whatnot. And I had seen a couple matches and whatnot of his from New Japan before he came over to the states. Uh, uh-huh. But I like my real obviously uh, last year at NXT against Sami Zayn. That was the first time, like, I had been really exposed to him. Okay. That and, was a great match. Yeah, really like, phenomenal. just his entrance alone was just sold me on him immediately. Uh, that's, that's like, and that's even, like, the crazy part. Like, when I first started watching him, I, I saw him in New Japan. You know what I mean? And his entrance was on point, too. And it was, it was crazy, because a lot of wrestlers, they, like, most of them, like, not, uh, I, I'm talking in general. You know what I mean? A lot yeah. of wrestlers, like, if their entrance is huge, is it's usually that's that's their strong point, and that's their strong point. That's it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, with him, that's not the case. You know what I mean? That's there's, not the case. So like, that's just the appetite. More substance. Yeah. There's more. So much more substance. You know what I mean? But um, big fan. I mean, if I had to choose somebody from NXT, that's no, um, that's that's. That's a that's who I'm a, I I keep on watching. Oh, yeah, you know most I mean, right? definitely. Yeah, they have a couple of those big guys themselves actually, uh, with the current NXT tag team champions. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, they got a couple big guys that can move pretty move pretty well. You think you could step in with them sometime? The authors of pain and Paul Elring. I mean, I'm just I'm I'm looking at what I'm what I'm focused on now. You know what I mean? You know so. I'm focusing on what I'm focusing on, you know most what I mean. Definitely. I mean, oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, if there, if there's an opportunity, like, like if there's an opportunity, I'll take it. But like, I'm I'm just focusing on what what's my own my my own task. I'm running my own race, you know what mm-hmm. I mean. Oh yeah, Easy. you're, go, you're the, going a good pace right now, because 
yeah, you know, as we've gotten back to for huh? twelve years, and this being you know, this is where things are you you said were really picking up, and I think that's you know a very exciting time but for I, you. But I think um, I think in, uh, it's not just me. I think it's just in general. Like, in general, the whole wrestling scene in general is really picking up right now. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, benefiting. People, people that are not, yeah, like it's not, it's not, it's no, it's no more of a monopoly anymore. Yeah, most well, definitely. Because the indie scene is stronger than it's ever been, and it and it's been strong for years, but it's getting even stronger. And you wouldn't think that, especially with mm. all these guys going to bigger and bigger things and whatnot. But the indie scene is still remaining stronger than ever. Yeah, I mean, like like I said, people are getting more opportunities now. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's great. Mm-hmm. It, the like like it's not just one business. It's like like the whole industry in itself is 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 flourishing which you know what i mean is something that it's great to see you know what i mean because i like i i was wrestling when it wasn't flourishing and it, it's hard for for somebody to to get yeah, their name out to be at the because you were at the smaller levels then when it wasn't flourishing and you, you yeah. like there had to be there had to be plenty of times where it was just hard to be in the position you were in yes most definitely Oh. And now, like now, you, all that's starting to pay off because you stuck it through all that, and now it's back to the boom period. I'm just very hopeful. Like, I mean, like if there's one thing to to, to say about like wrestling in this this episode of your podcast, it's just the future is very bright. You know what I mean? I was there when it wasn't. And it's, it's a very exciting time in professional wrestling, and it's going to be a great time going forward. Most definitely. I'm really excited to see where you're going to go in particular, not only with your, uh, you know, indie career, but, you know, I would definitely say TNA is not indie. So, you know, I've said that for a long time. Impact Wrestling is oh, that it's, it's, alternative. It's, 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 a, it's, a great, it's a great alternative. People can trash it all they want, but I'll still tell you right now, it is the second best company in the United States. Uh, I mean, <laughs> keep on showing you know, yeah, keep we'll keep you out of trouble. We'll be the ones, you know, def- we'll defend it yeah. in that aspect. I mean, because... you know, I was talking money wise. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut for that, <laughs> too. But you know. uh, it's been a great honor having you. Definitely I appreciate you know, it, man. I appreciate you guys uh, having me. You know, it's it, it's it was it's fun. Oh, you yeah, know? definitely hope to stay in touch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So, uh, ladies thank and gentlemen, once so again, much. Uh, a big thank you to Mr. Falaba. Thank you to my co-host, Mr. Chris Mullins, for, uh, I believe, starting up the whole conversation. And we'll see you all next time. Keep it safe.